Meaning, what is the best way to make your house smart? Simple oh, and get easy. Get plugs. Huh? Get smart plugs. Yes. Absolutely. I yes. think the, the smart plugs are the most simple way to make your house smart. Yes. Uh, you just have a plug, synchronize it or uh, activate it with an application. That will show you that right away how to do that. A smart plug, nice. Now, this particular one, I like it because you can put two on the same outlet. That's some that not allow you. You can only put one. But this one, they fit perfect. So you can put two in one outlet. I like this. What do you think if we start with introduction first? Absolutely. All right. How are we doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box CNT and behind the camera. Minina Moro. So today, Minina, what we have? We have today we have the smart plug Wi-Fi outlet mini socket. We can use it with Alexa and Google Home. And we yes. have if this, then that. That's not supported on this device. Oh, oh. Then you say that and she's I've been talking to her. Yeah, it was listen to. By the way, I have that in uh, Google and Alexa. Right over there. And so we when we her. pair. I have her. And so we can pair. We again, you know, show this up. So that's perfect to pair. So I'm going to show you how to pair this. And this particular box comes a pair, comes to. Now, the full instructions how to synchronize this thing. First thing, guys, you need to do right away uh, grab your RQ uh, code reader, either for an I uh, iPhones, iOS, or in a Google phone, right? Google Play. Just scan the RQ code. When you scan our Q code, you will download what is called a Smart Life. Or what you can do is just search for a Smart Life application. It's totally free and costs you even a penny. You get the application first. You install it, create a small account, ask you two, three questions, and you're done. And then you can synchronize you how to do that. Now, a few things to remember before this. It requires any smart plugs requires 2.4 gigahertz. So you need to get 2.4 gigahertz Make sure you know your password. A lot of companies, uh, cable companies set up two passwords for the five gigahertz and two. Most likely you always connect it to the five, not to the 2.4. Now for this, I would recommend you, you turn off your data and then switch to 2.4. You only need it to this one time. When you synchronize, if you synchronize a light bulb, a socket, whatever you want it, just one time only, the time you do the synchronization and then you're done. You control your data run if you want. You can switch to 5 gigahertz and done. Now, once this thing knows how to connect it to a network, it's totally done. So that's step one. Now, the Smart Life doesn't require either uh, Google or her, right? Mm -hmm. doesn't require her either. So you can use that alone. You don't need to spend an extra box. But if you want something like voice control, you, even though you can do it with the with the phone, but you want the speaker version, you'll get hard, or you get the Google One, and you can do uh, the activation. So, what we're gonna do now, let's activate this plug. All right, so first, we see the plug right over here, on and off. Let's plug it in. So for this, I wanna get a light bulb, so I can show you. All right, so let's plug the light bulb there. So to start off, it's a simple switch. You can turn it off and turn it off, right on the side, all right? Now, when we turn it on, we have the white light. Now we need to synchronize this for the first time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press the power, let it press for about, that's it, 10 seconds. It's still off, so let it be there. And now I let it go. You see that blinking? That's ready. So now I need to get my phone. So we start, so we start the smart uh, application, the smart life, and if you see here, I got a lot of things. Everything, the whole studio is being controlled with this. So I'm gonna go, that's actually gonna be for my coffee maker. So I go like this, I click socket, and then it says confirm. See, it's blinking, right? Confirm. And it's already in 2.4 gigahertz. See? If not, I will say change channel word, and you change it from 5 to 2.4. We put the password, so the password is the one of your network, the 2.4. All right, make sure, uh, you know your password, like I said before, sometimes it has two different passwords. And we put confirm, and this way, it should go pretty fast. Now with this, you can set the timer, you can do a schedule. You know, I think I already see the uh, blinking different, let's wait. Okay, 
So you see that already stop that's one give it away even though and then goes fast so i already detected and alexa should give me a message in a second i found pa10 and you can control it by saying turn on pa10 see so this one is called pa10 now you can rename it all you want you can put any name you want but for now i'm going to leave it pa10 but i'm going to move into the kitchen because i know it's going to go there it's going to make it actually one for the coffee, one for the tea. You have two different ones. So, kitchen. Done. If you want, you don't have to put it in your room. Now, oh, by the way, it's updating. So, I guess it's updating automatically the firmware. Some uh, require you to do manually. And this one has an automatic update. That's nice. Because some other ones I have to actually go, in the, go into the configuration and update the socket. So, let's wait into updates. With Alexa, the only thing you need to do, oh, gee. the only thing you need to do is get what they call a learning skill. So go into the learning skills on her and then an application and then search for the smart life and then activate the smart skill. And the only thing you have to do, because I feel sorry, they did, I did this real time and I never went into the Alexa application. Not on Google, it's exactly the same, exactly the same thing. You have to activate or you have to synchronize the smart life with google and will be work with the same then you can do more then you can do groups you can do all you want with the uh, or, or google okay let's put this here let's turn it on it's as simple as that right and power again i guess is that it's schedule so we can set the schedule we can set a cap down so you can put the schedule that nice to control your coffee and everything so now let's see if the voice works so Alexa, turn on PA10. You see, simple as that, right? Now let's go to Google now. Okay, let's go to Google now. Okay, Google, turn off PA10. You see that? All right, guys, with this, we'll complete the video. Remember, all the information to get one of these is always right underneath this video. And as you saw now, it's pretty simple to do. It only takes a few minutes to set up your smart plug, maybe for the coffee maker or turn on some lights inside the house. That's simple. I'll see you next time in another cool video in Media Box CNT. Bye.